What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Adobe Edge Animate. And what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be dropping objects onto our scene and within different areas. Now, unlike uh, programs such as After Effects, uh, which I really wish that uh, Adobe with, uh, would actually incorporate a lot of the After Effects type of attributes and workings around inside of Adobe Edge Animate, it would really make this program really just rock if they were to do that however it's not like that right now so what you do is that as you can see right here we've got uh, some items that just appear okay and as you can see within our timeline we got these little squiggly lines here okay we don't have our item uh, animating in from its opacity instead we have our item animating in or not really animating but actually cutting itself on and off as you can see it just changed from on to off right up in there and see I mean it's just r really simple we've got it off here and then we cut it on and I'm sorry we've got it off here and then off and then on so at the very ending of it as you can see right here we got a keyframe from whenever it cuts on so let's go ahead and create a new composition and let's go ahead and just give one we're going to add two of these guys here and then we're going to have this one set as just a uh, rectangle and this one right here we're going to set this one as a symbol okay so as you can see we can do this with either or <clears throat> and so with our first one here with our symbol we're going to come over set it to off we're going to bring it over here we're going to have it keyframed and then we're going to bring it here and we're going to set it to on and see that way it's off and then it's on then we come over here to this rectangle we're going to set it to off we're going to come all the way to here keyframe it and then bring it to here and set it to on and then that way we can do this now let's say that you don't want it to be right here or maybe you want it to start earlier and come on earlier so what you do is that you select both of your keyframes and you can then adjust them anywhere you want them to be at. You can bring them further out in your timeline, or you can bring them closer within your timeline to make it so that they can start earlier. Same thing with this one right up here. You can actually grab a hold of this, and I mean, you, you want to leave your first one right there. That way, it doesn't automatically start and come on. And then see, it sort of makes it a lot easier for you to work with whenever you're able to move your keyframes around and actually place them exactly where you want them to be at within your timeline that way your animation can play exactly how you want it to do all right wayne baron here with darkfix.net instead of adobe edge anime y'all have a rocking weekend now bye bye